I believe in something I call skin in the game. Okay, skin in the game is, uh, uh, I define skin in the game, it's both moral and effective to remove risks, is that nobody should ever put uh, someone else at risk. I don't really care about compensation, okay? I don't really care about uh, uh, ranking because you can't have a trading competition because someone has a strategy that pays off very rarely, okay? He will lose in the competition, he'll lose every battle and win the war, you see? So you can't really rank traders, but there's one rule I have, I call it skin in the game, is that nobody should put others at risk without having harm to himself, okay? In other words, if you lose money to your clients, you should be exposed to the same risk. That, that's sort of, it, it both moral and risk management rule. Risk management, because in Hammurabi's code, it was simple, if the architect builds a house, and the house is fragile, but hidden fragilities in a basement, you get the idea, we're, we're in the foundation, uh, like in a bank system, banking system, they look very stable, but they have the, the cut corners that nobody will see, okay, to make the bonus. And, and if the house collapses, the architect is penalized. That was in Hammurabi's code. Actually, he's put to death if the house collapses and kills the owner of the house. So this system, okay, is the best, this is the best risk management rule because as Hammurabi discovered, but something they forget today in Washington, the Architect or engineer knows a lot more about the risks. He doesn't know a lot about the risk, but he definitely knows a lot more than the inspector, you see? So if you make people eat their own cooking, you see, they're a lot better off, okay? And, and, and someone sent me, uh, read my book and sent me something, uh, a story in Brazil, where they discovered that they could lower the rate of helicopter crashes by forcing helicopter engineers randomly to take a ride, a half an hour ride, <laughs> once a month in a helicopter, all right? Now, so, yeah, for example, it's something the Romans knew and the Victorian knew that you make engineers sleep under the bridge, all right? Okay, so in trading, what do you do? So long as whoever is, whoever is involved in a strategy has losses, small, okay? It doesn't matter, all right? Has losses, if he can harm others, in other words, you has some incentive, but some disincentive, then we should be okay. It's when people don't have disincentive when they lose that the system blows up.